the box? Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? All right, so I got a couple. I got I got two people watching so far. All right, I'm gonna start. So welcome to Bob's Basement Toy Blog. I am Bob uh, from Total Toy Recon. Obviously, if you found this on our Facebook page or our YouTube page, it's evident who I am. Um, I am the editor and chief of the website. I am also the reporter. I go out. I do a lot of the news stories. I do a lot of toy hunts. Um, with everything going on in the world right now, we're we're kind of starving for content a little bit. Um, I did do a run to Rite Aid and got some good pictures. Found a solo. Uh, a, Han, uh, a Star Wars story figure that I actually needed at Rite Aid. Go figure. Um, but what I'm doing here is I am opening a lot of the toys that are in my basement. I'm sorting through them. I'm finding out what is uh, worth keeping, what I forgot I even had. Um, I've moved several times. I moved to LA a few years ago. Everything went into storage and all the boxes kind of got scattered. So having moved from my last house, which was very small, into a bigger home, Everything kind of fell into this from the storage bin and my parents house and some attics all fell into this place So I'm going through finding out what I still have what's in good shape how I did on my packaging What's loose? What's not so today? I got two boxes So I got a mini box here and then I don't know if it says it on the front But this is a battleship box now. That's it's a product box that came from Hasbro So we're gonna do that one second because this box right here says Star Wars on it and if you tuned into yesterday's episode, we have them all linked on YouTube together. We also have them all linked on Facebook. Yesterday was all Star Wars, but one thing. It was a Marvel Universe Captain America Comic-Con exclusive. Nope, it does not say uh, Battleship on the front. But I'll get into that box in a second. So let's, there's a priority mailbox. Now, usually I date these things, which is amazing to me that I did not date it. It just says Star Wars on it. Usually I kind of date them, which would give me an idea of maybe when the figures work. So, okay, so here we go. Now, these are vintage collection Star Wars figures. Now, these aren't originals, if you're watching. These are not originals. These are Hasbro's vintage collection. So this Luke from Empire Strikes Back, he came out in 2010. So he's been, I don't know if he's been in storage for 10 years, but I remember him hanging up at one of my apartments. Um, so here is Dak, who is finally getting a Black Series figure release. Uh, who do we got here? Boba Fett in the retro style packaging. These are in pretty good shape considering how they're packaged. But I, if you've ever mastered Star Wars figures in the packaging details, here's Dengar. I'm gonna show you how they used to come when you were a kid. And here is Dagobah Luke. So what you would do is you would package them or wrap them like this. So it kind of creates a box. You could do it like that. You can also lay them over each other like this and then protect them. You can even stack them like this. So actually, considering this is the 40th anniversary vampire, when these came out, it was the 30th anniversary. I can't believe I have this many. Here's C-3PO. Uh, excellent condition. But this is, I think it's great because it's, though it says Empire here, the photo is from Star Wars. That's just something that Kenner liked to do. But you did get the free Boba Fett, of which I believe I have three of, of the Boba Fetts now. And it, the, the rocket does actually fire. It's a great Leia from the Vintage Collection. She's actually number two. I should have been looking at the numbers. Like, this is 44. This is two. I didn't look at these numbers here. So here's a, a 4 LOM. But old school collectors will call him Zuckus, number 10. Um, who else do we got here? So, so I have two of these. I have another one somewhere, but this is an expanded universe figure. He's Vintage Collection 96, and this is Darth Malgus, and he is from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. So this was one of those oddball figures that I saw at a store and went, yeah, why not? He's pretty cool looking, and it'll probably be worth something. So this was actually his character debut. I love when they did stuff like that. Hasbro would put those out. So here's Han in his coat. He's number three. I'm guessing that that Luke was probably, there's probably a Luke that was number one. The Bespin Luke was probably number one. Nope, number's not here on the back. So that was a cool figure. I definitely had two, or I think I had two of those. So this one, I can't believe that at 1.5 below actually had vintage collection figures. So there's the sticker right there. This Grimorian Guard is like, a, it's so far beyond the original Kenner release. It's just fantastic. Um, 
very close to the larger version when they made the Black Series figure. And I'd like to say hi to my friend Donnie David, who's watching now. Great makeup artist. You should check out him on Facebook. And his artwork is fantastic, too. So here's another one. I believe I got this ATRT driver. I believe I got him at five below as well, because it's just, it's an odd figure. And I may actually have the Revenge of the Sith one as well. Wow, the dust on this is slightly amazing. Um, another figure I had to have and got a five below, Wedge Antilles is a vintage collection. I totally forgot I had half of these. And then this Admiral Akbar is just a fantastic figure. So he's vintage collection number 22. So that was a full box of vintage collection figures that I now have to carefully put back into place. Um, thankfully, my wife is very understanding of my obsession with my toys. Um, so I have all of these figures. These should really be carded. I have to get figure shield. Um, I really have to get some more uh, figure shield uh, packaging around them. Very similar to... This is... Very similar to like putting them in a bubble like this. This is in Figure Shield. This is Disney. Um, but definitely all of these should be Figure Shield. They're, they're great. I really should open them. Uh, but, um, you know, my brain won't let me, if that makes any sense. I'm sure there's some collectors that do understand that. But my brain won't let me open them. Um, so I did not pack these as good as I got them in there. So I'm definitely going to have to repack them later. And was Luke number one? Luke was number four. Vader's probably number one, which is, yeah, um, Vader was probably number one. And I don't think I ever got the Vader. And if I did, he may be in the next box. So it's getting kind of messy in the basement here. But I'm definitely uh, making progress on a lot of different things. So, um, so what was this box? So uh, when I wrote for, let me show you, it says Battleship up here. When I wrote for Mania.com, I was their toy, um, I was their toy columnist. Boxes like this would come from Hasbro every big movie, every tentpole movie. So uh, Guardians of the Galaxy here. Um, I finally, uh, we have Avengers way up here, which you can't see. But I finally got back into their good graces um, uh, recently. There's a Transformers box that's just right up here. I'm sure you can see it on one of the other feeds. But these boxes were just loaded with toy product. It was really, really cool. Um, and it was this special thing. And I liked keeping the boxes because I thought if I ever have like a toy show, I have these instant boxes to put everything out. And it makes it look like it's more yeah, like a warehouse almost. Well, <laughs> it's a basement. So the cool thing about this box was it was all Battleship. And it came with uh, the new version of Battleship. It came with some toys. It came with a water bottle, a t-shirt, a bunch of stuff. But I mean, check this out. I mean, this is really... A lot of thought went into this. It did make noise at one point, but that's long since gone. Could fire. So, neat. A neat thing that Hasbro did for the fans, um, or for new fans, it was a great product. Um, way to advertise. So, already, this is... <coughs> I don't know if you can see it. We got some different stuff in here. I thought it was going to be a majority of Star Wars again. But, here is an Art Asylum Gorn from Star Trek, uh, the original series. This was Wave 3. There was a battle-damaged uh, Kirk. It was uh, 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 the Orion Slave Girl, but it was it was Vina. And then there was uh, Kor, the Klingon. So you got all those. There was a Picard, too. But this is a figure I hunted everywhere for. Had to have. And couldn't open him when I finally found him because it, it was that incredible to me. Um, the way he looked. I think I have Kirk, and Kirk may have been in, I think, the very first episode. He was in a bag. Um, but what are you going to do? So we'll bounce around here. We're going to try to keep this quick today. Um, here is a Revenge of the Sith sneak preview General Grievous. So very cool. He wasn't, uh, I think I had one from two, um, but I tried to get this full wave. So I think we'll see if we have. Tion Medan, the Wookiee Warrior, and then R4 G9. Those should be the other ones. But again, Hasbro went like that extra uh, level and they actually put it into a Revenge of the Sith case. So we have uh, symbols up here. It says Star Wars across the back. Um, you know, perfectly preserved. And we did have the Vader one from the, the other day. This was another one that, that they did for, for Vader. Um, okay, so, 
<laughs> even I'm just like weirded out about what shows up that I still have in boxes. Um, so I'm big Planet of the Apes fan, and this was a MC Toy uh, tribute figure of the original Mego Planet of the Apes Doctor's Ass. So it even has Marty Abrams here on the back. This is the original style packaging. I mean, everything is very much in that same style. Um, there's always rumors circulating circulating that they're going to bring back Planet of the Apes for Mego. I really hope they do. Uh, my wallet doesn't. But uh, irony is, yesterday I just ordered the Mezco 112 Dr. Zayas. So, believe it or not, I've done... This is the fourth one of these now. We've had two Dr. Zayas figures. We had a Hasbro doll... Uh, it might have been the last episode, or it's episode two that we did, um, or chapter two, as I call it. So this is this came like this. I actually, you have to cut it out. I think I got this at New York Comic Con. I think it was the first time I actually saw one in person. Um, so here's another one. Now this was a Target exclusive, another Revenge of the Sith figure. It was a special clone trooper. Um, he's got like a little like red mark on his chest on his helmet, but it here right there it says Target exclusive, and again it's a Revenge of the Sith. the The symbol of the of his unit is right up here. So another nice hard case figure. Probably why all these are together. Um, here is Lava Reflection Obi Wan from Revenge of the Sith. Now these are taped here, here, here. He's never been opened, so he's perfectly preserved in that. I mean this is really. I'm sure a kid probably got one and opened him, but mine was, you know, I liked it because of the, the symbol of the end of the saga. I thought this was going to be it. We'd never get another one. So, just fun to have. I can't believe how many of these Target exclusives I had. Target was a weird thing for me. Until I moved closer to the Philadelphia area, I had only ever been to a Target out in, in, the, in, in central Pennsylvania. It was the only one I ever went to. Uh, a friend of mine who lived in St. Louis, it was like, Target's great. They, you know, they, they're awesome. And I was like, I never had been to one. And he took me to one there. And I was like, all right, this is kind of nice. It's nice stuff here. But now, hell, I worked for Target for two years in different at different times. Not for a full year each time, but at different times. Um, here's the Lava Reflection Anakin Skywalker. Now, this is a little dinged up here, but I'm sure if I just flatten it down and give it a chance to straighten out, it'll probably be fine. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a couple weird things in here I did not expect. Um, and we got some loose figures in here, too. Finally, some more loose figures. Here is the NECA, uh, is it 2009, 2008? I think it's 2009. Yeah, this is the NECA V for Vendetta. Whenever I do a V for Vendetta, uh, like, toy list, or I update it, um, this guy is, like, number one every time. I still have, it still says $13.99 at Hot Topic. It's a fantastic figure. I will never take it out of the pack. I just love it. Even though this is starting to get a little yellow and stuff, this blister, the way it is, it's going to stay like that forever. Um, okay. This is Pody Sninkin. Now, this was one of the figures that if you were, um, you had to get, I believe, through the Star Wars fan club. It was the only way that you could get it. Um, it was him, there was a Death Star droid, and there was somebody else, and I can't remember who it was. Um, but this was also one of the figures that if you cut all the proof of purchases, uh, you got the binoculars where you could actually see the 35 millimeter slides that they kept giving you. So somewhere I have a big stack of those. Um, but this is a old blister card, uh, kit. This was from Protect the Pack. So I got a whole bunch of these, as I mentioned before. Um, I had gotten these at Target. They were selling them right in the action figure aisle. And you got like, I think you got six or seven in a case. And the cool part was the case itself, which housed them, was good for two-pack figures. So it was, it was. I was like, wait, you guys aren't really realizing what you're doing here. And nobody bought them. I got them in college um, you know, when I went to Penn State. Um, and they had, you know, that was, it just started becoming crazy again. So... Don't know if Pody Sinkin is worth anything, but it's a figure that I'm glad I have, and he will probably always stay in the pack because pretty sure he was that figure that you had to mail that you had to mail away for. So didn't expect an Indiana Jones figure with a horse. I believe this is from Last Crusade. Nope, it's from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, I guess that would be a black horse if it was from Last Crusade. Yes, 
with the tassels and stuff. Um, this was a great toy line. It's just sad that they wrapped it around Crystal Skull. And they should have released the other figures first and then the Crystal Skull figures. Because um, I never got the German soldier with a motorcycle or Indiana Jones and the, like, uh, when he's getting the fertil fertility idol. There were, like, two play sets for that. Never got any of that stuff. Um, I have the Comic-Con big pack where you get all the indie figures that they never released. Um, like Tote and the German mechanic. So I do have that. I have not seen it, but it's probably here somewhere. I can't, you can't miss it. It's, it's like the, it's like the monolith from uh, 2001 in its shape. So it's pretty cool. Um, but these figures are great. I gave my nephew a whole, nephews a whole bunch of them. Um, most of them were Crystal Skull figures. Uh, so, ooh, so here's multiple awesomeness. Um, this is Luke in the Back to Tank from Empire Strikes Back. This is from 2001. Now, the neat thing about this is, there's a couple th neat things. Uh, KB Toy Store, $12.99. But on the back side, we have a training Darth Maul. I don't think I have that. Leia with the cannon. And the fan's choice figure number two, the Amanda Man Man. Amanda Man Man. Um, this alone is worth any, uh, like, custom, like, crew, uh, photographer thing. He wants to have all these pieces. This is a lot of pieces right here. And then Luke kind of just floats in there. I don't even know if Luke's got points of articulation. It looks like he does. But fantastic figure. And the package is getting a little worn. Um, but what do you want? It's 19 years old. Uh, okay, so we're going to we'll do this one quick because I know what this is. This is Star Wars Trivial Pursuit. I've never been beaten. That's in here. And that only covers the original trilogy. And then, I believe these are my wife's. And I'm not kidding when I say that. They just need a little bit of touch-up and maybe just a good wash. But these... Oops. Wow, that just happens. Sorry, honey. Uh, these are the Diamond Select Batman figures. So here is a very classic Batman. And then... I don't even know which Batmans these are. And then this here is clearly, which is, which is awesome. The superpowers Batman, not superpowers Batman, the super friends Batman. So those are great. And then she's got a stand for each one. And I know that there's one of these actually has the, yeah, this one here. He's got the peg hole in his actual shoe. So you could probably just put him back in there and he'll stand pretty good but look at that i think that was from i think that was a jim lee design fantastic so now i gotta clean all this up but i got a better sense of what was in those two boxes and uh all good stuff so uh this is bob uh from total toy recon thank you for tuning in if you're catching this on youtube please subscribe to our channel you can still do that i had someone actually subscribe today and uh we do a lot of toy hunts on instagram when we can actually get outside and that's a, a nice thing and i will do another one of these tomorrow. Um, I think, I think I'm going to try and tackle this box right here. Now I've got two Mighty Mugs and I definitely see a Movie Maniac in there. So I'm going to go after that tub, but I've got to clean this up and I really appreciate you tuning in and I hope you had uh, some fun and uh, maybe some of these toys sparked a few memories and maybe you'll start Googling and looking for, um, you know, them on eBay. I do recommend if you're looking for uh, a good toy store to check out uh, my buddy Max's Symbiote Collectibles. He's in West Reading, Pennsylvania. It's Symbiote, just like the Spider-Man, collectibles.com. You want to check him out. He does do a lot, a lot of online uh, sales and shipping. And you can find him on Facebook. He is a straight shooter and he does a lot of good toy sales. Um, some of the items in my collection are directly from his store. And we've done trades. We've done uh, cash sales. And Max is the kind of guy you want to deal with, and he always has good stuff. So thank you for tuning in. It's Bob from Total Toy Recon again, and wishing you a safe and happy day.